Hello my soccer universe. The never ending parcel has arrived. The first of two never ending parcels. It's a hell of a story and I cannot believe I'm holding this in my hand, to be honest. Uh, and you know, I will, before I unpack it, I will tell you the entire story. It's one of those things that just beggars believe the way it happened, how it happened and that it took so long but uh, this is the first video i'm shooting after i have recovered fortunately i have voice again um and yeah i am so happy that i can bring this to you uh just before i tell the story this parcel is from my friend andy and if you do not know andy he has a wonderful instagram page uh and his football shirts that i would urge you to subscribe to if you're on Instagram. He posts a lot of really, really, really cool shirts with many uh, little stories and tidbits in there. Uh, most of them are Everton shirts, whether it's the team that he supports, but there are many others as well. And it's, it's a really, really great follow. And he's a really good guy. And I've also made a interview with him and we have been in contact sending each other uh, shirts here and there. So there's a very good relationship with him and this is actually where the story starts because uh at the end of last year towards christmas i de i decided to um kind of uh recognize some fellow collectors that have helped me build up my collection and send them a little christmas gift and one of these was andy and it really seemed to touch him at a very very special level uh he was totally surprised and out of the blue which is what i intended to do and at that point i also knew that he had uh i think two patches and a name set waiting for me and so at the beginning of the new year i had figured out how i want to and i said you know um can you please send the name set to idris because he can apply it for me and then he came back to me you know i took already the liberty to send you the name set plus the patches plus a little surprise for you as a thank you for your gracious gift um and it's already on your way okay that's good i think it was around 6th of january so far so good i was also happy that you know he also gave me i uh, also got them the tracking number so i could follow ev everything aligned everything up with idris which is then the second part of the never ending parcel because that name said needed to work again to him uh and then everything was fine until it wasn't. Um, I think I want to say it was January 12th or something like that. When he wrote to me, Pooh, your parcel just made it out of the country before shit hit the fan. What had happened? And it says here, prepared for international transport. There was a, um, a Russian hackers hacked the British mail for the export department and no parcel could be processed. And now we had the brief hope that the parcel, because it happened literally a few hours, it was scanned to go for international, literally hours before this ha has happened. Of course, it did not go. It did not go, it stayed there. So what has happened is there were some um, Russian hackers took over the system and they basically wanted money it was kind of a ransomware attack uh, for Great Britain to get that back. And for me, this is a very underreported story because I wouldn't have heard, her, heard about it here. I read a little bit on the British uh, news once. I heard it from Andy. And then I, I had to check it over and over and over again and nothing was happening. So, yeah, um, it was kind of, it was clear. They cannot send anything internationally. And just imagine the pileup of parcels that is happening at that moment, I think, uh, which really 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 hard to imagine and i knew okay i really hope this will survive uh or will arrive not survive it will survive that ordeal and uh, arrive with me and i also knew this will take some time however during the end of january nothing has happened and from what i knew yeah they were negotiating and trying to get the systems back try to figure things out at the beginning of february there was one notice. Ah, we got your parcel. It's in Milton Keynes. Okay, we'll keep you updated. Okay, 
continue further. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. At that point, it was kind of almost an afterthought. I, because of that pile up, I actually bought myself in January a few uh, shirts because uh, everything was stuck at that moment. Literally everything was stuck. Everything that, 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 that I ordered for for January uh, uh, most of it has resolved by now. Then I actually, I mean, I had checked on February almost every day if there's an update, no update, no update, no update. And then I almost had forgotten about it again and said, you know, it will happen. It eventually it will happen. Uh, I don't know when. At least there is something. Then Andy writes to me, and this was 1st of March, so almost two months later. Your parcel is in Austria. Whoa. That means it will come soon. It was in customs for two weeks. And again, I imagine that all these parcels arrived at once in the customs office. And they had to look at them very, very carefully. And if you look at this parcel, there's some yellow tape around it, which is from the Vienna Customs Department, which of course had opened and checked that parcel. Fortunately, everything went fine. Everything went fine and they said, yeah, it was declared uh, correctly, so I only had to pay five euros. Okay, that is what I had expected. And anyway, so worked out really well for me in that scenario. However, this was by far not the end of it. Now, um, they, I got it on Wednesday a week ago. I got the notification that it is has left customs. And so I said, okay, Thursday, maybe Friday it will arrive. Friday, I was literally at home waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for, for the parcel because I know when it, I, I didn't expect that it will arrive in the evening, uh, the day before, because those types of parcel usually, usually come, come in the morning nothing comes not, nothing comes and it says it's out for delivery it was for two days out for delivery and i'm going to take to take a rest when suddenly um i when i wake up i find a yellow sheet pick it up in the post office we did not find you which was not possible it simply was not possible the uh reason why why it uh, had happened this way because uh, it said on the note and here on the um, postage note that the name is unknown. What the WT? I mean, there's, there is the correct apartment number and the correct number. So they went to one of our neighbors and she brought it then to us. Great. Okay. So uh, since, since it's Friday, there's no way I can pick it up on Friday. So we have to wait over the weekend. Monday morning says I pick it up. Monday morning, I was already feeling a little bit in rough shape. I go down to the post office. Of course, it's not there. When do you... Um, I said, okay, when do you get it again? Uh, well, we get probably the next delivery we get late uh, on um, Monday, or just before half hour before closing. And I really didn't feel great, but I felt, no, I want to get this because I actually wanted to send stuff on to Idris. Uh, so I forced myself down only for this parcel to not be there again. And then I felt, honestly, I felt seriously ill. I, I know this Monday uh, evening and, and so I did not feel well, like at all. And um, the next morning I just checked my phone. And I see ready for pickup. So I tell my wife, I literally can't do it. I mean, that Tuesday I was completely already out. Of, I barely could uh, do anything. My wife takes the sheet and was about to get it. Again, it was not in the post office. It was in a different post office. So she brings it home. But at that time I had no voice anymore. So I could not even shoot an opening video. However, what my wife did is, I knew that this has to wait now, and this, now it is Saturday after that particular Tuesday. Uh, this will post probably on Monday. So what my wife, or what I instruct my wife to do is, please open the parcel, don't tell me what's in it, don't tell me what is see, just take the name set out so that we can send this on. And this will be a video that will come probably a week or two from now. And after all that now, but finally, it is time to open this. I have no idea what's in there. 
which is so exciting. I'm really looking forward to what all this in there. The one thing I can feel already, what it says already, there are two books in there. Well, probably prospects. There, I know there are some patches in there that I will show you. And then there's a shirt in there for me. And I cannot wait and see. So let's see. One by one, we'll take things out. <coughs> This is the cutest thing ever. Two this is not for me. This is not for me. This is, the, this is for sure for my kids. Uh, the reason why I, of course, uh, my kids and I, we actually put stickers on that, Chris, on that Christmas um, parcel that I sent to Andy. So I guess this was a little one. So. Here it says Roland, there's a little uh, um, envelope, so let's look at it, this and then. Oh man, cool. So, first off, the reason I hung the two frost shirts up, I have two patches, World Cup winners patches, which will go on these two shirts. That will be a separate video. I found here, and I am very pleased with that. Diego Maradona, Argentina absolutely cool so let's read here happy new year yeah it's been a while <laughs> i know when you sent me the xmas present it wasn't because you were expecting something in turn however i was so blown away by your generosity that i wanted to return a gesture so here we have the scotland home show from euro 20 2021 way that's actually pretty cool that's actually pretty cool so let's open it up with a sorry that's actually pretty pretty cool because i really want to have a, a more current scotland home shirt i am super pleased with that i'll open it in just a sec oh this is so cool uh our first major tournament since world cup france 98. the stickers on your parcel uh really brought a smile to my face so here's some more stickers for your daughters I am worried they might be a little bit childish for your eldest. If so, please, can you get her something similar as an alternative? Honestly, she will love this. She will absolutely, absolutely love this. And yes, I do realize I may have just given you an extra job to do. <laughs> yes, happy new year. While shooting the video, I was honestly a little bit too overwhelmed uh, and I missed a really cool detail that he wrote to me. Um, it says here on the card, have a puck tastic time celebrating. And on the front, there's of course a puck. And I would have really noticed. I knew that when I saw it, I thought, this looks like Andy's dog, because I've seen him on a few pictures. Then he says, and I couldn't read it, and it didn't make sense at me when I unpacked it, but I wanted to uh, add this in. P.S. The card isn't totally random. I do have a puck called Mojo. He turned 12 years old this week. Well, this was three months ago. But yeah, another nice detail from this particular parcel. Nice card at the Unicorn Stop. This is really cool. Andy, thank you so much. Uh, I cannot tell you how pleased I am to have this shirt. Because I have a Scotland shirt from uh, 98, which I really, really love. But I wanted to get a more recent one. And especially that one, there's some really nice stuff about it. So let's have a look at this shirt. And brand new. This is so cool, Andy. Thank you so much. Thank you so so. so I'm really, really pleased with this one. So happy. I, I, I actually say I really like the Scotland uh, crest. And I love the sleeve cuffs, really do. But what, 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 what I like even more, I, I probably have, have to get the other Scotland shirt uh, out there. I really like the pattern in there because it's so reminiscent of that particular Scotland shirt. So let me hang this one up at the other one and then you will see. I'm blown away. This is so cool. And you know, getting Scotland shirts around here is also not that easy. So I'm really, really pleased. 
Okay, here they are, the two Scotland shirts that I have. The first one, the umber one, that's the old one, and you see it also has this horizontal striping, and then the new one that I just got from Andy. In also with this horizontal striping, it's a really nice, really, really nice modern Scotland shirt. I'm blown away. I think everything in here, not only did you help me, Andy, thank you so much, you not only did help me build my collection last year with a few really nice shirts that you helped me get. The Maradona card, card really cool. You helped me get these two patches plus the name set to be determined. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil, spoil it right now. Then not, then not only did you get the shirt, which I know you didn't have to, but thank you so much for, for that. I really, really appreciate it. And it fits so nicely as well. The sticker albums for the girls, that's just the cherry on top, on, 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 on top of it. They will be really, 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 really happy. Maybe I should add them to the video to show you a reaction. Let's do that. Okay, here they are. <laughs> Here's what Andy, what Andy gave for you guys. Open it up, like from here. And show. What do you say about that? Thank you, Andy. Do you like it? Yes. Do you like yes. it? I love unicorns. I know you love unicorns. <laughs> it's Also like okay, so we have two happy girls and one happy dad with his new shirt. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Again, thank you so much, Andy. This was really, really a nice surprise, and it was well worth the wait. We can say that for sure. Any case, I hope you also enjoyed that video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking on the bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!